Welcome to episode 16 of Paper Sorcerer. Logan Kane here, and this time, well, we still need to talk to these people since we broke the last binding. First, we have a mysterious guy. Black Four is where I originally escaped from. It's always freezing cold there. And a fiend. I've heard birds was raised by witches and had no remorse. He'd probably fit her in your hell. I don't have anyone biting him. What do you Burrius is. Anyway, a little bit of flavor text. Not the best. One thing I've been wondering. Why in the hell is there a button here for map? Where does that take me? It takes me to where I am. Well, anyway, let's get on with cell block four. And hopefully we find that... Well, this is different. Hmm. Um... Hmm. Sure. Let's go down here. Okay, so that's a it's a platform. First thing I do, go underground, not know what I'm doing. Let's see. Oh great. Music in this cell block is the same as the last one. I'm gonna see all sorts of takedowns. So, what do we have here? We have ice hounds. Sounds terrifying. I guess they look icy. They look like bird faces. Well, let's see what Troll has for skills. Powerful Strike. Poison Fist. Rend. Large amount of damage to the defense. Okay, that's cool. Um, use Agility for damage. Ignores a portion of defense. Raise Strength and Agility. Restore HP over time. Stealth. Okay, so he's similar to the Thief, but he's definitely not the same. Let's go ahead and do Break. Let's break Ice Hound. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some fire, since they're Ice Hounds, on Ice Hound B. Skellington, go for Ice Hound A. Minitor, go for a Wild Swing, yeah, that sounds good. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Okay, Troll looks, eh, kinda cool. Whatever. See how much damage that fire does. Eh. I thought it might do a superb amount of damage since it's ice, you know, melt them. But anyway, I suppose that's all y'all need to see. Be right back. Or maybe not. That guy died really quick. I guess we can suffer through this. That ain't that big a deal. Alright, let's take out the ice hounds. Drop an attack. And a skeleton. Skeleton, just attack. And sorcerer. Just, just blackball him. Just blackball him. And that should be about it for him. Yep, that'll kill him. And he's gone. And another 100 damage or so and that one's gone. That's... That's nothing. There's 30 damage right there. Let's see what the black vault does. How much can that do? Hopefully it's close to... 55. Alright. Let's just attack. Yeah, it's gonna be dead before my sorcerer gets to go. He's going last, but I'd really like him to focus if he could. So I'm gonna try it anyway. And that probably kills it right there, and if not, the Minotaur will kill it for sure. And it's dead. Yeah. Well, that was pretty quick. I found two basic midnight runes. Okay. That's great. Some more Scorch. Some more Brutal Strike. Some more Heal. Some more Trick Attack. Wait. Oh, right, that's the stun. Oh, didn't recognize it for a moment. Uh, yeah, let's throw a rune. Since I just got runes, let's throw a rune on the troll. Not sure how I feel about the troll so far. I think I might bring the puppet back, but... He's alright so far. See what's over here? Man, I was not expecting there to be a whole dungeon under here. I wonder if walking across that way... Walking across that over there would just get me killed. Well, anyway, I'm just wasting time. Let's, uh... Let us proceed. Oh, I gotta look in this door, though. The door is locked. You feel an aura of cold radiating from it. Well, thievery, of course. The goblin starts to work at the lock. Backs away in shame. Hmm. goblin hasn't opened a single frickin'... Source of cold at the lock itself. The keyhole is even lined with ice. Okay, do we have acid flask or... We... How about we just cast a fire spell on it? Well, I guess open's an option. I didn't try open. 
In trying to open the door, you're showered with dusting of frost. It's pretty, but cold, and the door won't budge an inch. Well, set it on fire, then. You got Scorch. Just burn the damn door. It's a wooden door. Just burn it down. Burn it down. And what's this? That's a bottomless pit. And... Did I check the other way? Yeah, that... Yeah. That's what I just did. Alright, let's go back up. And now we're on the other side. Okay, that might be all that is. Well, other than that door down there. Don't care about a mouse, mouse, mice, and a mice. There you go. A mace. I don't care about a mace right now. And then, what? As soon as you enter the room, you're pelted with bitter freezing winds. A rogue figure standing in the center turns to face you. I'm Uvirus Magnus, Wizard of the North and Sentinel of Limbrum Clostrum. I will make you answer for all the noble lives you have taken. A tear streams down his cheek. And leave you frozen for all eternity! Okay. Huh. Was not expecting to fight a boss. Or a boss-like thing, I suppose. I don't know if it's a boss. Let's go ahead and poison fist the frost wizard. I think he could use some poison. Drop a wild swing over here. Man, I wish I had my <laughs> puppet. He'd be doing pretty much the same thing the Mentor is doing, except for more damage. I'm gonna go ahead and focus. I just have- I need the- I need it. Much as I hate to do it, Skeleton, you're fully healed, fully ready to go, you need to challenge. You need to be the one that gets hit. The Minotaur can take a lot of damage. Yeah, so the Minotaur might be able to take more damage. Let's see, 311 versus... Yeah, Minotaur can take more damage. Wait, no. No, it can't. Just shy. I'm good at math. Alright. Skeleton. Now I want you to do Defender. Let's raise our defense. Across the board. And go ahead and break that Frost Wizard. Sorcerer, you are going to go ahead and Black Bolt Icehound A. And Minotaur, you're going to try and trip him up. Oh, you can't do it. Alright, just attack Icehound A. Let's do it. I'm wondering if after I kill this ice wizard that that door will be thawed out. Ooh, tricky tricky, isn't it? No. No, it's not. Now, he does have a good amount of defense. No, I guess he doesn't. I'm, I'm thinking, should I... Should we use the troll to obliterate? Probably can't do it this turn anyway, but... Large damage to target's defense. I'm wondering if we should try and rend him. Rending might might be beneficial to us. I'm gonna go ahead and have the Skellington use a defense attack, defensive strike, on the Frost Wizard. Troll gets a little bit of energy back. Black Bolt, that fucking Ice Hound, it should be dead. Why is it still alive? Level 13, Ice Level 1. That makes a lot of sense. So I'm slowed down. And that's dead. That's good. That's a good start. Get some of that defense back. Alright. That helps. That helps so much. Okay. Troll, you have some stuff. Let, let's go ahead and rend the Frost Wizard. This is probably the first thing I should do. If I'm going to have him in my party, should be the first thing I do every fight. Minotaur, I really want... Let's hope a brutal strike. I really want to take that Ice Hound out as soon as possible. Skellington. Actually, you know what? You should probably use a skill. What do you got? Go ahead and Power Strike the Ice Hound. Let's get it killed before it does more damage to us. 20. Well, okay. Good enough for me. I guess the rend was unnecessary. Didn't really do much more defensive damage than the other things, but maybe it was just low on defense and that was the last of it. I don't know. 17 HP and an evade? Bastard. Okay. Let's just do regular attacks, except for the sorcerer, of course. He's gonna shoot a black bolt at this ice wolf. Or ice hound. Ice hound B. Sorry. Don't need to get all defensive. Don't want to be mixed up with ice hound A. Jealous bastard. No matter. You're both dead now. 
Alright, what'd we get out of this? A frozen key! Well, close enough. I guess the door isn't gonna be suddenly thawed, but I get a key for it. More defensive strike is good. And that's it for this level, so turn around and let's check out that other area. Okay, I thought it wasn't gonna take me down for a moment. I was like, what the hell? Alright, so that's where that was. I just wanna make sure. Yeah. There wasn't anything else. Let's go ahead and try and open this door again. Where's my frost key? Frozen key. With a loud crack, you unlock the door. The door is now open. You know, you don't need to tell me the door is no, now open. I can see it. And if I was blind, and I couldn't see it, guess what? I wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. Well then. A glowing ball of light hovers before you. You may have found me, but let me ask you this. Have you thought... Have you yourself thought to... I have to wonder if I'm being a jackass by sucking these fuckers in. <clears throat> but, hey, they allow me to get into the catacombs, which allows me to summon more demons. Alloy full plate, 83 defense. I think that tops the chain mail thing that my... I'm a minotaur. Where is he? Skellington. My Skellington is wearing. 84 reinforced chain. 83 full plate. Not quite, but he's gonna go ahead and wear it. Because I think my troll can wear the chainmail. No, he can't. Well, in that case, I know it's only one defense, but actually, you know what? I'll leave it, because I might bring the cultist back out. And this, no. Actually, you go ahead and wear the reinforced chainmail, and I'm gonna see if I can get my skeleton to wear that absolutely game-breaking defense. Eric Forge Chainmail, and he can. Okay, he's an absolute beast now. What's in here? A Magician's Bracelet, plus 10 magic. Well, more equipping. Fun, fun, fun in the sun. Let's get that 10 magic. All right, and that should be it. There's nothing else over here, was there? Ooh, there is. Stuff. Inside the cabinet, you find a dog. What? Oh, a dog-eared book on magical containment devices. Magical containment devices could theor theoretically be reused to continue entrapping entities other than that... Wow. Other than that they are initially crafted to hold. But some theorists hold that such use would weaken each time it's used. Since in ideal conditions, the device is customized to that which it is imprisoning. So, what they imprisoned me with was not targeting me. Perfume. Gems. How could I go wrong without gems? Silver-plated sword. More gems. And four gems. Wow, that's, that's great. Is this a bed I can sleep in? Because I'll totally sleep in this bed. And this... The guy who made this game, he hasn't... He hasn't added anything that's like... Whoa! I would never have thought of that. It's just... Oh, well, okay. I'm probably going the wrong way anyway, aren't I? Oh, shoot. Let's get over there. I do not think so. <laughs> I guess there's not much to it anyway. Alright, let's go on through here. Yes, I'd like to go to the next level. Yay, we cleared the block. And we got the wisp, that's what's important. Although the catacombs are getting rather boring, to me anyway. Well, that's it for episode 16 of Paper Sorcerer. Thank you much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed still. Good day.